you know, and all the factory bikes I rode were, were good. Uh, there's one, Paul Malin's 250 Kawasaki. I remember that day very well. Um, it's become a, a very uh, famous and, and much shared. Yeah. It's an the, iconic the, picture, I would say. Now, Rob, I remember that myself, even back then in DVR. Let alone, and, and oh. the, the number of times that pops up on the internet, it's mm. all the time, which is fine. And a lot of Americans say, "Ah, oh, that's Robbie Reynard." Robbie <laughs> Reynard. Uh, no, it's not Robbie Reynard. It's Rob Andrews. And then other people, <laughs> no, it's it's Jeff Emig or it's Malin. Uh, no, it's Malin's bike, and that's me on it. And one mm. person, one astute person, actually said to me, "If you look at that picture underneath your logo." There's a bit of clone brush there. You see that roost, it looks a bit weird. And somebody said, Ah, oh, that picture's faked. You can tell because it's got clone brush on there. As in, it's been photoshopped. And I'll tell you why it's been photoshopped. You go back to that. Yeah. Because it's taken from that. And so I'd, all I've got is this chromelin. I never had the original photo. That's the chromelin of the double prey spread from the magazine. So, in order to get this these pictures out of these corners, I very poorly on photoshop or paint shop pro whatever it was just clone brushed them out and so that's why it looks a bit dodgy in the corner uh, yeah that's the original, that's the original chromalin from the magazine article <clears throat> could have done with uh, pat stott around then <laughs> i wish i'd got the original negative you now it's been lost because dbr oh, yeah. from key publishing to yeah. Um, you know, the DBR and trials of motocross news lot and uh, who knows where that negative is, but it, it's such a shame that that was, that was lost. And, and so all I've got is a scan of that chromolith, which is a shame. But I, I remember that day very well. It was at Chippenham and we rode both the 250 and the Perimeter Trophane 500, which also was a good bike. And I thought we didn't like it, but yeah, that was a good bike as well. I'll talk to you about that in a minute, actually. We'll get back to that in a second. Um, but that that berm shot, I remember where it was at, at Chippenham, and it was just nice soft sand. And I and I went and I mean I was quite good at doing those bar drags wow. um, because if, if you do magazine shoots, you know all the shots that you see in magazines, they're just a rider doing one corner at a time. You know you wow. set it up, and often they're very slow. They might look fast, but they're actually very slow shots. Uh, but you're just working on one corner. You're not just riding around laps and laps and laps. You're just trying to set up one good shot. Mm. And so I just cut this n this nice little berm into there, and it was really, really wide. To get a shot like that, you've got to be going some sort of speed. That was third gear, that, that bar drag shot. Exactly. So you can't do a very tight corner on something like that. So it was actually yeah. a nice gradual arc, and I just went around it like, I don't know, 10, 12 times just to build this this rut up just slowly. And each time it's getting a little bit bigger. And the cameraman there, Kevin Chevis, I, I said to him, don't don't take photos yet. I'm just building it up. And then it just started to get good. Uh, and then I probably did that. I would guess probably 10 or 12 times like that with the clutch in the ground. Um, and I knew it was good. I, knew it was good. I didn't know there was obviously it wasn't digital camera so you couldn't see it but i just thought mm. christ we got some good stuff there yeah and the first time i saw it was when it was actually in the magazine yeah. i can't remember where i was oh, i've got a message on my thing i can't remember where it was but i remember seeing the magazine and other people were there and they just were shaking their head and going you know <laughs> it's a good well, shot yeah, yeah that, was, that was third gear so it was, it was going at decent sort of speed um, and it wasn't a crash, and I did it a dozen times before the burn blew out. And like I said, like you said, I've I've seen it quite a few times popping up uh, all over the internet, and I've I remember it back from then. So yeah, I've seen it loads of times. It is a very iconic shot now, isn't it? Yeah. Definitely, it's just way around. Pitcher couldn't do that during a race. Pitcher couldn't do that during a race. <laughs> yeah. And somebody else once said to me, "Why is it always left-handers?" And I said, "Yeah, if." if 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 all the GP tracks had just been left hand turns, I'd have been world champion time and time over. 